It's safe to say that there's some creepy stuff lurking down there in the deep depths of history. Layers upon layers of lost cities, villages and towns just waiting for an unwitting archaeologist to stumble upon their horrors, accidentally unseal an ancient tomb and let out a treacherous evil curse that was meant to be locked away for eternity. Sometimes when we go digging through history, our civilization has found numerous terrifying horrors that were probably better off left undiscovered. Hello horror fans and once again welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube, Top 5 Scary Videos. As as per usual, I'll be your horror host Jack Finch, as today we curiously take a look at the top 5 scariest archaeological discoveries. Roll the clip. For the curious amongst you, that clip was from, of course, the legendary 1973 horror masterpiece, The Exorcist, because we all know that sooner or later, if you go digging around in the dirt, you're gonna discover some kind of relic of the demonic Pazuzu, right? Yeah. Kicking off at number five, the Falrion Delta Necropolis. Now, Greece, of course, is the land of one of this planet's longest standing ancient civilizations, and dig sites are a dime a dozen across both the rural and metropolitan areas of the country, slowly uncovering the mysteries of a long lost Greek society. While in early 2016, researchers discovered one terrifyingly unique manner of burial and mass execution. Apparently because, well, they're not entirely sure. Found in a large ancient cemetery in part of the Faurian Delta Necropolis in Athens were at least 80 skeletons in a line stacked on top of each other with their wrists clamped together in a chain of iron shackles. The strangest thing was though that all of these men were incredibly young and in a very good state of health, indicating that they weren't slaves or common criminals and the orderly uniform way that they were buried seemed to support this. Whatever happened was an incredibly violent act with their hands bound above their heads before being uniformly executed. The whole thing doesn't really make any sense at all but the leading theory is that all of these young men were part of an attempted coup during a period of great unrest for Athenian society. The coup failed of course but the fact that these men were all buried in a respectful manner despite the violent circumstances that they were executed in leaves far more perplexing questions than it does answers. Swinging in at number 4 the Persian siege. Now in the ancient world sieges and bloody battles were the only real way to get things done but during an age where the most cutting edge technology was a composite ballista it was pretty shocking when archaeologists discovered some startling evidence of chemical warfare. In 256 AD, well turns out that over 2000 years ago 19 Roman soldiers rushed into a cramped underground tunnel as they prepared to defend the Roman held Syrian city of Dura Ropus from an army of Persian soldiers digging beneath the city mud brick walls. Instead of meeting a horde of Persian besiegers though, they were met by one soldier. And then a wall of noxious black smoke turned their lungs into acid. They all died in excruciating pain, sealed for eternity beneath the earth. But flash forward to the 1920s though, and French archaeologist Robert Dumensil began excavating the Roman site that backed up against the Euphrates River. That's when he found the piled up skeletal remains of the 19 Roman soldiers and one lone Persian at the other end of the tunnel. Initially he thought that the Persian soldier had somehow managed to defeat 19 highly trained legionnaires in close quarters combat but that's when he noticed crystals of sulfur and bitumen scattered across the tunnel walls. Turned out the Persian force had developed an experimental tar like petrochemical that burnt fast and hot and killed with deadly efficiency. Also turns out that chemical warfare was much more common than we expected in the ancient world. What a way to go eh? Next up at number 3, the mystery of Herxheim. And this one is pretty damn terrifying really. Sometime in 5300 BC, which is a long long time ago, what is known as a linear pottery culture developed in the southwest region of Herxheim in Germany, one that for all intents and purposes could be described as an idyllic peaceful stone age settlement. Safe from invaders and predators, the village thrived with its rudimentary agriculture and societal development. That is until sometime around 4950 BC when the settlement in Herxheim abruptly and without warning disappeared. But they didn't exactly disappear, instead they were ritualistically butchered, smashed to pieces and buried beneath the same dirt that they once called home. Turns out in 2009 an archaeological dig site unearthed human remains of over 1000 ancient villagers. The bones were of men, women, children, even infants and fetuses. Stranger still though, tool markings on all of the bones showed that the flesh had been carefully scraped off, while larger bones had been broken possibly to get at the marrow inside. Hell, even the skulls were 
were cracked open in an effort to extract their brains. Whoever did this knew exactly what they were doing and were incredibly proficient at butchering the human anatomy, presumably to eat, as there was no sign of the removed flesh in the surrounding area. It gets weirder though, because after extracting DNA from their remains, it turned out that these people came from all over Europe in roughly a 500 mile radius. In fact, the leading theory is that all of these people volunteered to come to Herxheim on their own free will to be ritualistically sacrificed and then seemingly eaten. Yeah. Coming in at number two, the tomb of the sunken skulls. Talking of ritualistic burial sites, there's an even older one and it's even weirder actually. Sometime in 2009, archaeologists found what they believe to be a stone age settlement near what was once a shallow lake in Matala, a town in southwest Sweden. The routine dig took a strange turn though when researchers discovered the skulls and skull fragments from 11 individuals, including men, women, children and infants. In fact, the site, which would later be known as Canal Jordan, turned out to be nearly 8,000 years old. But we also have to remember that Canal Jordan was a lake and the remains were found stacked inside a large stone mass grave with a giant heavy lid built on the bottom of a body of water. Hey, it gets weirder though guys, because two of the human skulls found were pierced with wooden stakes, with the majority of the others showing signs of also being penetrated by sharp objects. It seemed to point toward using their heads as some sort of bizarre trophy or totem, but also it poses the question, why would you then bury them underneath a lake in a stone tomb with children. But hey, again, it gets even weirder because one of the female skulls found there was actually filled with fragments of bone from all of the other skulls in the tomb, like some weird kind of horrifying potpourri. The leading theory is that Canal Jordan likely served as a sacred meeting spot for several nomadic bands of Mesolithic Swedes roaming the forest and shores of Sweden over 8,000 years ago. For some reason though, they felt compelled to bury people's heads in a stone tomb at the bottom of a lake, and no one really knows why. My my best guess though, vampires or, or aliens, alien vampires. And finally coming in at our number one spot, the Clad Halan mummies. If you know anything about bog bodies, you'll know that they're already terrifying enough. The British Isles are relatively unique in the sense that they're littered with geographical peat bogs, a unique high acid, low oxygen environment which inhibits specific bacteria that break down organics. Because of that, they're also perfect for preserving bodies, and history has shown numerous instances of discovering ancient bodies hidden away in the deep peat bogs of Scotland, Ireland, England, and Wales. Well, usually they're just incredibly well preserved, mummified perfectly for archaeological purposes, but back in early 2012, scientists discovered two 3,000 year old Scottish bog bodies, remnants of the 11th century ancestral houses of Clad Halan, a prehistoric village on the Isle of South Uist. But hold on, because if that timeline isn't already peculiar enough, it gets weirder. Because first and foremost, researchers discovered that these two corpses had been buried between 300 and 600 years after their death. Hold on though, because it does get weirder, because these corpses quickly had scientists scratching their heads because their bones just didn't match up, although they showed clear signs of being articulated as one whole cadaver. Turned out after DNA testing each of their limbs, they were from completely separate people, all of which had died at different points in ancient history. It's what's called a composite mummy and no one has any idea what the hell it was or still is, but for some reason an ancient society was collecting body parts and sticking them all together in some horrifying Frankensteinian manner. <sighs> yeah, let that one sink in, just like a peep. Bog body. Well, that one was pretty horrifying, right, guys? Yeah. I think you need to have a little bit of a lie down. Why don't you let us know your thoughts as well as any traumatizing ancient insights in the comment section down below? Before we depart, though, let's take a look at some of your most entertaining edifications from over the past few days. First up, Uncle Humpty Dumpty says, Thanks from Germany for not butchering the name Schmidt. Hey, no worries, buddy. Glad I could do it justice. I like this script. I've got a penchant for Germanic etymology. It's one of the reasons that English is such a fascinatingly difficult language. So, Schmidt. And finally, Pete. East Turtle Infinity says, I want to get my comment read out, but couldn't think of anything witty to say. Yeah, don't worry. Peace, Turtle Infinity. Better luck next time. Well, there we have it, horror fans. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in today's video. Just sticking around all the way until the end. If you found of this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe out, and we'll be seeing you in the next one. As per usual, I've been your horror host, Jack Finch. You've been watching top five scary videos, and until next time, you take it easy.